Hey you guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner. Today I thought I would use my Jane Davenport stencil. I'm not sure if you can really see that. Probably. Um, I'm going to use her to create Jean Grey from Marvel's X-Men because she's my favorite. I'm going to go back to the 90s because that's my favorite outfit for her. This paper is this. Got it at Michael's. Good times. It was a hot buy, so you know it's good. Um, I'm just using a Jane Davenport Dragonfly Magic Wand, and I'm going to just draw her face out roughly because, you know, got to turn it into Jean Grey. All right, so now that I have my sketch down, I'm gonna kind of go back in, refine some of the lines, darken it up a little bit, and start adding some of that jean grayness to it. So Jean Gray has kind of a headbandy thing. That comes like this, comes down on the side, kind of like that, and it covers her ear. And then sometimes it has a little chimney strap looking thingy, but I think I'll skip that. I don't know that you would really, maybe you'll see just a little bit of it coming around. All right. And then there's a little diamondy shaped thing in here. Although I think I should have done it pink, but whatevs. I can always go over it with like a pink paint pen. All right, and then the top is kind of like a headband thing. So I just wanna make sure that she has enough forehead. A lot of people cut foreheads off. Not this guy. Okay, sometimes I do. is fantastic and I'm just kind of cutting it off right here because I didn't want to draw her body and then this part we'll kind of just have flowing up this way Lots of flowing hair. That's one thing I loved about the 90s comics is they all had huge hair. Somewhat obnoxiously so. I've already sprayed my watercolors with, um, with just a misting of water. I start with her outfit. I'm gonna alter the colors a little bit. Actually, maybe I'll try and stick a little truer to them. I don't know. But her outfit is blue. Although I think it has an orange stripe right there. Oh shoot, I can't remember. No, it's orange on the sides and blue down the middle. I'm all right. And this water likes to, or this water, this paper kind of likes to reject the watercolor, but if you just go over it a couple of times with the brush, it, it goes and see how it's kind of bubbling up. You just work it in and then it works like really nice. Well, not really nice watercolor paper, but it works nice enough to get the look I'm going for. Um, and I'm also using, this blue is, I think it's Nereid from Jane's Glitzy palette. Watercolor palette. It's a very pretty blue. Are any of you guys out there X-Men fans? Or just Marvel fans in general? There was a comic, um, Storm used to be my favorite. And then I read an issue way back when, um, and it was, on the cover it was Jean Grey and Sabretooth. 
and inside she basically got in a fight with Sabretooth. He's a very evil bad guy. Not so, I don't know, in the movies he was kind of like, eh. But in the comics he's quite, quite bad. He basically wanted to eat her and she was like, with a single thought, I could just snap every bone in his body. I could kill him in an instant just by thinking about it. So basically, once I realized like the amount of like, I don't know, pressure she was under and how much she had to like control herself and the actual strength of her powers, this is before the Phoenix. And after, I don't know, it depends on when you start reading the comics. Um, just having to control yourself mentally and physically really like it's just it was very eye-opening for me as such a young young little youth I love how much these uh, how much the background comes through I'm not trying to hide it at all like I want it to show through and this is a buff from Jane Davenport uh, Neutral Palette. The Brights Palette's my favorite one, I should know that. There's a color Mystic in there that I like to mix with the buff color to make like a nice skin shading color. Although it's a little light. I have to be a little more dramatic with the dark on this paper. I could talk about my trip to the gym yesterday. That was exciting. I uh, talked with a personal trainer and, oh, it was fun how they, you know, measured how much percentage of my body's made up of fat and muscle and bone and water. That's always fun. Um, I'm gonna use Ariel for her lips. But Rocky and I, we enjoy going to the gym, but we've never actually gone all out with like the body fat measurements and stuff, but it was kind of part of the, or it was part of the sign up. So we will uh, see where that goes. I'm hesitantly excited. Try time. Let's take a darker blue. Ooh, ink is always a good color. Take some ink and we'll do some blue shadows. I basically just drew an outline of the shadow of where I thought it would be and just fill it in. Darken up this one over here. Looking good. I don't need to add much in the way of blush since she pretty much has rosy cheeks. Get it, rosy cheeks? Uh -huh. But I'm gonna add a little touch to her nose. Just a hint. All right. Get her eyes colored in. I'm gonna go with Sylph, might be the name of it, from the Glitzy palette. I went very light on that because I'm not sure how dark it's gonna get. I went much heavier. Just color over the pupil area. I add like a touch of yellow into that. Hmm, oh, there's so many fun yellows to choose from. I'm gonna go with Mango just because it's from the neutral palette. Just a little, little drop of yellow in there. Let's darken her lips up a little. Use a little Frida. I 
So like I love using purple to shade, but whenever I do it with the lipstick or lip color in general, it always like I don't know. Makes it look like the end of wearing purple lipstick. I haven't quite figured out how to do that. Without making it look like bad 90s choices. Ooh, let's get to her hair. I so want to add like a lot of frolicsome from the glitzy palette to her hair because it's orangey and I love it. It's like the most beautiful orange color. I'm looking nice against that blue. I'm not really worrying about shading. I mean, there's so much going on in the background anyway. I kind of have it fade off as it gets further away from her face. And this thing is pink. So I'm gonna go into Best Friend, which is from the Brights palette. And it's probably gonna be very, very strong pink. I need to dry her and then start playing with colored pencils and see what I can do from there. Dry time. I always want to make sure that the uh, paper is super dry before you go in with colored pencils just because wet paper can get eaten up very easily. Let's start and darkening in some of these blues. I think I'll try and go over the other like her skin lines and stuff with maybe like a pink or something that's not blue and see if that'll look more like a skin tone color. Would anybody else like to see Jane Davenport draw some uh, some of the superheroes in her style? Because that would be awesome. How we looking? Pretty good. All right, let's get white. And those, eye, well, this eye is actually pretty white already. And this eye definitely needs to be brightened up a little. Push that uh, pattern in the background a little. Add some highlight to her eye. Alright, let's grab some skin tone colors. Alright, let's see if this will work. Oh yeah, that looks good. It just kind of turns into a purpley-ish color on top of that blue, blue line that I used for the uh, initial sketch. Let's add a little highlight to this. Highlights are the best. We'll do a gray blue for the shading around her eye, her eyeball. Just to help give it a little more of a round feel. Let's grab a red. Start playing around with her hair a little bit. Crimson Lake and Scarlet Lake. I mean, just get all the lake colors. Um, see if I can add a little more red into her lip rather than that purple, because now the more I look at it, the more purple it looks. All right. Because really, if you just get the idea, when people look at it, they'll, their brains will just be like, yep, that's hair, even if it looks like a ribbon. Clean, sketchy. Why? Because that's what I like. Like this is a Jane stencil. Doesn't really look like Jane drew it though, which I think is fantastic. I learned a lot from watching her videos. 
and I've done quite a few of her workshops online at janedavenport.com. Hashtag not, not sponsored, as people say. Um, but no, I just, I enjoy her. I think she's fun. She is a very nice lady. And she's very interactive with her group on Facebook, the Mixed Media Group. I don't know many artists that get that involved. I feel like I want to add some white highlights and then call it good, because I think my phone might actually be dead. Okay, just kidding. Um, I decided I would just go dump my phone and, you know, not rushes, because there's some stuff that I wanted to do that I didn't do that I'm gonna do. Right now, though, I want to push some of these patterns in the background a little further back. Helps push the background back just a little bit. And I can even make her pop out a little more if I did a little white around her, which I just might do, but we're gonna dry it real quick. All right, dry. Gonna add just a little bit of the white. She looking fancy. So, I'm going to peel off this tape. Hopefully it all goes well. And then, oh, it's already coming off by itself. And then I'm gonna do a little uh, die cutting experiment. And hopefully, hopefully it'll look good. Gonna set you aside. Grab uh, this. It's my Jane Davenport die cutting machine from Spellbinders. Whoa! Probably turn it this way so I can actually use it properly. There. Sometimes it does not want to cut so well through this glittery paper. Do I do it like that? Or like that? Keep it like that. Okay. Do that. Of course, I've, <laughs> I've used it a lot. Might need to get some new plates soon. I'm new to die cutting, so, you know, if that's a thing, I should probably be doing it. Ooh, that's nice. All right, gonna clean up just a little bit. Oh, look at that. So pretty. Ooh. All right, done with the pink glitter. Oh yeah, there's more glitter happening. And now I just want this one and this one. Put these aside. Nice. Ooh, let go. Put you over there. Put you over there. Oh my goodness, glitter everywhere. Worth it. So compact. So freaking cute. Yeah, because I'm that organized. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, how much I was gonna say all right. So we're gonna do that. And then like that and that. I know it just looks like flowers in her hair, but it's powers in her hair. If you ever watch like the cartoon and stuff, her powers are like a vibrant pink. Cool color. It doesn't want to stick to anything because the glitter. Oh, sparkly. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Now she's just a big glittery mess. Look like she's been crafting. I kind of want to break the border a little bit and just have like line work down here. It's kind of fun. So I think now she might actually be done. I don't know if I love this. I'm gonna be honest. I keep looking at it. Although in like the right light, it does look pretty fun. But it does just look like flowers in her hair. You guys. All right. I'll use them for something else. Can't win them all. But now I can do this. I'm just gonna have it fade away. It's like, oh, I was doing this awesome sketch and I only had time to do the center part. Alrighty. That's it for reels this time. Thanks you guys for uh, stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that I totally didn't like what I did at the end with the uh, cutouts, but I'm gonna use them for something else. All right, thanks for stopping by and I will see you next week. Have a wonderful week.